All right, so last one. Think about an interaction, hopefully this one's a little bit easier, that you had with somebody this week. It can be just a greeting that was done in passing, maybe a deliberate hour-long conversation, or just maybe spending time at home with your spouse. And think about some of the nonverbal cues or body language that was exchanged during that time period, and tell us how that enhanced or hampered verbal communication. Lauren. Yesterday, I went for a walk with my dog in the middle of the day because it was so gorgeous out. And I ran into some neighbors of ours who we met on the beach. And the woman is a former nurse. She's a retired nurse. She was a labor and delivery nurse. So, of course, every time she sees me, we talk about labor and delivery. <laughs> and she is very hands-on in her speaking. She likes to talk about movements, talk about laboring, talk about catching, talk about touching in certain <laughs> ways. And it's fine for me. I'm about to go through that. It's probably good that I get some additional exposure to it. However, I always wonder what other people think around <laughs> us as we're having this conversation. Her husband, who's been married to her for years, is probably used to it. He just sits down with his newspaper that he has and reads through it. The other folks walking by are probably wonder why she's pulling her knees up <laughs> into the side. Things like that. So that was my experience yesterday and it did make me think a lot about body language. 